personally. Thanks, Green. So, former President Donald Trump threatened to revoke the legal status of Haitian migrants. What is the president's reaction to that? This is something that the former president had tried to do during his own administration. Look, here's the fact. The fact is they're here legally, right? That is the fact. TPS, that's what it gives you. And honestly, I wouldn't take a legal advice from the former president. I don't know. That's not something I would do. Okay. How concerned is the administration about the economic impact of Hurricane Helene? Look, as you can see, we have been working around the clock. The president directed his team very early on to work around the clock. Uh, to make sure that the states who were that were affected, the states that he's visited and the vice president has visited over the past couple of days, got everything that they need, and we and we did that by pre-positioning, uh, pre-positioning uh, some of the personnel, about 1,500 uh, federal personnel, to do that. Uh, what we are doing, we're going to make sure. Obviously, we're going to always monitor uh, any of the economic impact, but we're going to continue uh, to make sure that we are dealing, uh, we are focused on life-saving and life-sustaining uh, efforts. That's the focus that we're going to have here, uh, and we're going to continue to monitor. Uh, but uh, obviously, reacting and providing the needs of the states right now of the. Uh, uh, of citizens who are living in those states is probably the most key and most important. And continue to call on Congress uh, to move forward with additional funding. As you know, in the CR, there was a robust ask uh, for uh, funding, uh, for disaster funding, and that didn't make it in the bipartisan CR. And so we got to get that done, uh, and we're going to continue to have conversations with Congress. Okay.